In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you how to make a video with multiple picture-in-picture -picture videos and make them circular as well. We'd like to show you a short example of what this might look like in a semi-finished product and then we'll show you the design steps. On my track number one, I have my video playing of my construction project. And then I, if I drag down, you see I also have a title track with various items there. And I have a music track below that. But what I'd like to do is add several circular picture-in-pictures where each of the pictures is a video. Let me show you how we can begin that. By the way, I've already done some timing on this. I have uh, some markers on my top track where I'm going to drop in my particular videos. And I also have labeled, if I drag to the, to the right, I have labeled these tracks to tell me which video I want on which track. Now on track number two, I have one called Meeting. I'm going to shrink the effects track here. And I'll take this one, which I know happens to be a meeting. I'll drag it and I'll drop it, time it where I want on this track. I'm going to do the same with the other two. Uh, the second one is sawing. And that one happens to be this one here. We'll take and drag that down. I'll snap it to my marker in track number three. And the last one is measuring. I'll take and drag that down and snap it to the marker on track number four. Now, obviously what I have when I get to each of these times is I have the entire screen filled with a new video. That's not quite what I want, so we're going to make them a circular picture rather than have them fill the screen. So I'm going to click on track number two to start with, and we'll double click to get into our PIP designer. I have applied a grid line here, and one of the things I want to do is have it take up only part of the screen. So I'm going to take a corner of the picture, and we'll drag, and we'll reduce the size proportionally. I'm going to stay within my safe zone, and then I'll move it in the upper right corner so long as it fits the safe zone. Then I'll click on OK. Now I have a square picture in picture. Let's do it with the second one as well. We'll take the second click, go also into our PIP designer, and we'll take this one, move it within my safe zone, and then I'll shrink it as well. Now in this case, I'm going to move it down and to the left. Then I'll take the third one, we'll click on OK, on track number four, double click to get into the PIP designer. We'll resize this as well. And I'm going to move this over down to the right. Now I have three pictures, if we click on OK, and they will each come in in a different sequence, but when I'm done with all three, they're all on the screen. But they're square. How do you make them round? Let me show you how to do that. We're going to do some masking. Let's go back to video number one, highlight it. I'll click on Designer, and I'll choose Mask Designer. Once I'm in my Mask Designer, I'm going to click on the circle on Mask Properties on the left, and it will immediately give me a circle that's centered in the middle, and turn my first video into a circular video. Then I'll click on OK. Likewise, I'll go into the second object, click on the designer, and then mask designer. And with that one, I'll click the same circle, and that will set a circle in the center. 
We'll click on OK. And then I move to my last video that's embedded in my project. Highlight that. Click on Designer, Mask Designer. Repeat the process. And click OK. And now when we play a segment of our clip, we'll find that as the text comes in, I'm also going to have the picture come in in a circle where I have a circular masked video for planning, one for building, and then one at the end for remodeling. And that's how you accomplish circular masking for multiple videos in CyberLink PowerDirector.